yeah, the way I fish, I'm probably the, the last traditional herring fisherman in Clavelli now. I fish in, a, in an old traditional boat, the Picaruna, and I, I don't use an engine. So we, we either row or we sail I mean, and up the, the coast towards where the herring is. The village of Clavelli here was, was built on the herring. Nearly every man in the village and every family in the village would have been involved with the herring and fishing at one time. And there's only one or two of us left now, and myself obviously fishing traditionally for, for herring, my brother Tommy, and my nephew Joe, Joe Rossi. We try and keep the fishing going here, we try and uh, let people know that there is still herrings caught here in Clavelli. I wish I was a fisherman. We shoot the nets in the dark in order to get the fish rising to the light. Fish play for the light. Us had some chickens, no eggs would they lay. Us had some I, I fished since I left school and I, I also the harbour master here in Clavelli. The herring generally arrive any time from September on, onwards and we fish right through and until Christmas. There was a herring ban from about 1977 until 1984 which unfortunately was devastating for the men here. It sort of took away their livelihood and their way of life. By the time the ban was, was off, most of those old fellas had passed on. My father, he died in 1983, so he was never able to take us out herring fishing. So it's good to take people like Peter Braundack. Peter is my cousin. He remembers fishing with my father and, and his father. I used to watch him all the time. He was the one that I was always trying to catch more fish than. <laughs> It's just beautiful, isn't it? Just everything's right here. Yeah. Apart from they fellas being here. Yeah. Normally you'd hear a few choice words now. <laughs> Confounded bedgers, they be. We have some uninvited guests who've come along to help themselves from our nets. And they're not going to pay for them either. Drift netting for herrings is probably the most sustainable way you can fish for herrings. You're only going to catch what goes into the nets. You know, you know, the mesh is a certain size, so anything, any small fish can, go, can pass through the net. So you're only going to catch a certain amount of fish. You know, it will always be a sustainable fishery. You know, there are times when, when the nets will fill up within 10 minutes. and We'll take the nets onto the beach where we'll shake, shake the nets, you know, just like they used to in the olden days. I'm what they call a, a, a cobble child. <laughs> Yeah, born on the cobbles. I can remember when my mother would drag us out of bed and drag us down the street in the middle of the night as she had to help us shake the fish out of the nets. My father and my, my older brother would be on the beach here with the boat, so we'd stand there knee deep in it in herrings. You know, when the band came on in, in the 70s, I was, I was only a lad of about 12 years old, so I never ever got that learning from my father. He actually out at sea, and he used to, to you know, draw pictures on the wall, on the uh, windows. He would, uh, he would say, shoot two nets up the shore and then two nets up towards uh, Sorton Sound. And so when the nets are driving, they should be in this shape, which is called a bib. An unfortunate result of having a, a herring ban is not only the loss of the boats and all the traditions, but it's also the loss of the markets. The people, you know, not only in the village, but also in the whole of North Devon, have forgotten how to cook and eat you know, cleverly herring. So we decided to celebrate the herring. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yes. So, caught by Stephen here. So, we've got Rachel, my sister. She's frying up the herrings over there in oatmeal and serving them up with a nice piece of bread and a bit of lemon. And my girlfriend, Joy, who's selling, who's selling everything she can. And on this side, we've got my brother, Tommy who's selling the fresh Clivelli herrings. On the end, we have my older sister, Alice, because she's selling some kipper baguettes. Then the Sermon on the Mount, they had bread and fish. You just want the fish. My nephew, Joe, he's also doing battered Clivelli herring row. Everything's Clivelli herring. You know, if we can't get people to start eating the herrings, the youngsters, you know, like my nephew, uh, Joe, won't have any future in it. Fishing in Picaroon is you know, rowing up the shore is Probably not for everybody, you know, but I don't want to be the last one that does it. It's, it's the knowledge of the coastline, the tides, the mending and setting nets. You lose all those skills, and once they've gone, you never get them back. Never. I, I enjoy the, the way of life, you know, the romance of the sea, if you want to call it. I, I just enjoy it, you know, and I just hope that there will always be people that enjoy it as well, and enjoy eating the fish as much as I enjoy catching the fish. Yeah.